guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, many of you are on the fence. You're looking for entries and you don't know whether to buy Pulse Chain or you don't know whether to buy Pulse X. You're trying to figure out which is the best to buy, especially if you cannot afford or have the money or disposable income to buy both of them. So in this video, we're going to give you the pros and the cons for both. And then we're going to summarize at the end and we're going to reveal which is the best to buy right now. Now, before I get into this video, you know what to do. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And as always, click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with all my recent videos. Remember, guys, nothing that you see in this video is financial advice. So always make sure to do your own independent research. And with that being said, pause the video click the link in my description and join the telegram group so you can stay up to date with all my recent updates news updates technical updates and much much more now the first thing i'm going to start off with is pulse x we're going to talk about the pros of buying pulse x and obviously one of its unique points because remember it is closely correlated with pulse chain and the entire ecosystem but one thing that pulse x has so far is volatility right so let's just put it this way so from its highs i've gone over this several times but i'll do it again so from its highs on the 16th of may it was up just under two thousand percent when we compare this to pulse chain so if you'd bought pulse chain at the exact same time the max roi you would have saw is wait for it 978 percent. so quite clearly uh, the percentage gains is on the side of Pulse X. Now you're probably thinking, well, is that a conclusion for the video, right? No, that's not a conclusion, right? That doesn't mean that it's the right one to buy. And I'm going to explain why shortly. But firstly, so the first unique selling, first unique selling point for Pulse X is potential for high returns, right? So projects with high volatility, which uh, Pulse X has, it just means it's more likely to produce those higher returns, allowing significant gains in a shorter period if the market, of course, moves in our favor. Now, the second advantage would be opportunity for active traders. So if you're somebody that likes to be in and out of the market, you're somebody that likes to take profit early or take advantage of impulse moves, then Pulse X would be an opportunity for you. Why? Because you can obviously utilize short term trading strategies to benefit from frequent price swings in this high volatility cryptocurrency, allowing for more trading opportunities than you would if you bought Pulse X, right? Sorry, Pulse Chain. Whereas Pulse Chain, as you can see, uh, you know, the, again, 978%, that obviously means less opportunities to take advantage of pulse X of uh, impulsive moves for a higher percentage return. Now, third would be diversification benefits, right? So in a well diversified portfolio, the actual uh, advantage of having a high volatile uh, cryptocurrency like pulse X instead of pulse chain would be to help balance the risk and potentially improve the overall returns of your portfolio. So to, to make that make sense, if you had, let's say, Bitcoin, you had, you know, just a safe portfolio, slow and steady, nothing that's, you know, that's, you know, very volatile, right? So you haven't got a lot of super altcoins in your portfolio. Well, then if you have Bitcoin, the Ethereum, the, you know, those what we would consider in the cryptocurrency space, the gold standard of the space, then it might make sense to add a bit of volatility to the portfolio, which means for that, I would pick PulseX over Pulse Chain. Whereas if I had, let's say, a portfolio that's already extremely volatile, you know, highly volatile, then of course I would pick Pulse Chain for more stability. So it depends on your portfolio so it does have that diversification benefits and also which is and i've noticed this as well and when i do my pulse chain videos and my pulse x videos the pulse x videos tend to get more views why because high volatility cryptocurrencies often attract attention from investors analysts and just you know people that update on these kinds of videos right so 
And this obviously could lead to increased liquidity and trading volume, right? Not saying that's always the case, but that could be you know, an added advantage, which is why there tends to be more percentage gains with PulseX rather than Pulse Chain. And last but not least, capitalizing on news events, right? So rapid price movements in high volatility cryptocurrencies like PulseX enables us to profit from market news uh, than we otherwise would with Pulse Chain and other coins in the ecosystem. So from a high volatility perspective, opportunities for you know increased ROI benefits, we can clearly see that Pulse X is the clear winner here. Now, before you switch off, because I know a lot of people think it, are thinking, okay, is a conclusion that the winner here is Pulse X. That's not necessarily the case. Although we've seen thus far that if you bought both at the same time, you would be up more on Pulse X than you would Pulse Chain, and at its peak, you would be up over a hundred percent more on Pulse X. But the second point, this is going to balance things out, and then I'll conclude. So the disadvantages of these high of a high volatile cryptocurrency like Pulsex in your portfolio other rather than Pulse Chain would be increased risk. And we actually saw this at certain points. So when Pulse X, sorry, Pulse Chain actually broke its key structure area, resistance area, it was actually up percentage wise more than Pulse Chain Pulsex, right? So although uh, obviously right now as it stands pulse x is leading the way by maybe a hundred percent when it comes to percentage gains or 50 to 100 percent at a certain point just a few weeks ago pulse chain would have been the winner and we actually saw pulse chain break resistance whereas pulse x unfortunately didn't break resistance and sold off quite heavily, which would have mean if you bought Pulse X over Pulse Chain, you actually would have been in a loss. So there's that increased overall risk, which can lead to crazy price fluctuations. And this can obviously lead to losses, especially if market movements are unfavorable, similar to what we saw here. Number two, and this is a, a massive one, emotional stress. So constant price swings can be emotionally taxing for you as a trader, as an investor, leading to impulsive decisions driven by fear or greed. And these are the underlining uh, you know, points that nobody talks about. Of course, we all talk about the end result, the risk versus reward, the overall percentage gains. But what we don't talk about is this emotional stress that can lead you to making irrational decisions. So a classic example would be when Pulse Chain broke out, as I just showed you before, right? And Pulse X sold off, you're more likely to sell off your Pulse X holdings rather than Pulse Chain, you're more likely to keep because you can see that it's broken out. And even when it did sell off, it happened slowly and gradually rather than a straight line move, so, right? So if you wanna avoid emotional stress, it might be a good idea to stay away from high volatile um, uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. Now, third would be difficulty in predicting pr uh, movements. Now, this is a hit and miss because obviously, uh, again, Although all of these cryptocurrencies, Pulse Chain, Pulsex, and Hex are heavily correlated with one another, right? And if one does well, we would expect them all to do well over the long term. But the point is, it's difficult in predicting these market moves because as I just mentioned, when we saw Pulse Chain bro break out, we would assume that Pulsex would do the same, but that didn't actually happen, right? So there is that difficulty in predicting price movement, whereas Pulse Chain is obviously more predictable as I've shown you time and time again, which again does give you that peace of mind and almost takes a burden off uh, of your shoulders rather than uh, that emotional stress that you would get with Pulse X. And then last but not least, this would be limited opportunities. The pool of high volatility cryptocurrencies may lead to limited not to all investors, right? But not everybody is going to have the opportunity or willingness to participate in highly volatile cryptocurrencies. And the second video I'm gonna talk about after this would be incentive token, right? 
And if we're talking percentage gains, why not just go for incentive token? Now, the reason why you probably uh, would pick Pulse Chain or Pulsex over it is because of this high volatility, right? So although, yes, we saw larger percentage moves, uh, you know, larger percentage moves bigger than Pulse Chain and Pulsex, right? 2,741 percent you can see that this has had a straight line move to the downside and is actually down from its peak wait for it 93 percent right so this is what I'm talking about right this not many people want to participate in this not many people want to get involved in this so there's actually less opportunities when it comes to market participants overall market participants in certain uh, high volatile cryptocurrency gems, which is why a lot of people like to stick to more predictable uh, and less volatile uh, markets. Or, but as I mentioned at the start, there's obviously a massive opportunity with heavily uh, volatile um, uh, cryptocurrency gems. But to conclude this video and to talk about which one is the best. So I'm actually going to do something even better. I'm going to reveal which cryptocurrency out of Pulsion and Pulsex would be suited to you based on your personality type. So high volatility, which would be Pulsex in this case, this is for investors and traders who are more risk tolerant, adaptable to market fluctuations and enjoy actively managing their portfolios, right? And also you may be well suited to dealing with this emotional stress that could obviously occur with these massive fluctuations in price, right? So if you're someone that can, that does have a high risk toler tolerance, you do have experience in the market, maybe as I mentioned before, you have a solid portfolio and you're happy to take on extreme risk, then obviously this Pulsex would be more suited to your personality tap, uh, type, not financial advice of course, but based on the data that I have in front of me, that would be suited to you. Now. Pulse Chain is going to be more suited to investors and traders who prefer a more stable and predictable market environment, which have and also you have a lower risk tolerance and are more comfortable with long term strategies. Right. This would be more suited to you. Now, with that being said, both are very volatile when you compare it to your average cryptocurrency. Right. So that's an important takeaway. Pulse Chain and PulseX. Pulsing is very, very volatile when compared to other cryptocurrencies, but out of the two, it's the less volatile. So depending on what personality type you have, whether you can deal with high risk, or sorry, you have a high risk tolerance, or whether you have a low risk tolerance, then you can decide which one is suited to you. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I've got an epic incentive token video coming next. Don't forget to join Crypto Crew Premium, link in my description. This is where you'll get your entries, exits, overall strategy for Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and more. We also released a 100X gem in the group this week, and we're also preparing for want some of the biggest moves that you can imagine. And remember, when you sign up today, or before the 31st of Jan, July, sorry, you'll get free access to our leverage trading group where we have currently a $100 a day challenge. So why not make money when the market goes up and also when the market goes down? I hope you all enjoy the video. Join Crypto Crew Premium. The link is in the description. I'll see you all there. Until the next update, seize the day.